Today I'm going to be making beets in my three liter Hawkins Classic pressure cooker. So here are all the parts that come with your Hawkins Classic. Um, first you have your chamber, the actual pot in which the things are cooked. You have your lid complete with the rubber bumper, make sure that's present. And also your pressure regulator, which comes off, make sure that's nice and clear inside. Also make sure that the steam vent, which is that little nut right there, is nice and clear. It has seven holes on the side. You wanna make sure that those are free flowing before you start cooking so that your pot can vent steam properly. This is the little um, food stand that comes inside the Hawk, comes with the Hawkins. It's a little short as you can see and I like to use the steam to cook my food. Um, beets which are really you know uh, tough to cook on the stovetop, they can take up to an hour of boiling forever, um, only take 12 to 15 minutes in the pressure cooker so they're great but I like to keep them out of the cooking liquid and so instead of using the one that comes with the Hawkins, I just use one of those regular steamer baskets. You, you can get this at the dollar store. Into the pressure cooker, I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. You wanna add one cup of water for every 10 minutes that you're going to be pressure cooking, and then an additional half cup of water for every additional 10 minutes. So because beets take between 12 to 15 minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and put one and a half cups of water inside of my pot, and I'm just gonna pop my steamer basket right inside. There you go. And then I've rinsed my beets. I've uh, chopped off most of the hairy stuff and the, and the stalks. And so I'm just gonna arrange them inside nice and loosely. Four is a good number for this size of cooker. Um, after that, <laughs> you have to get the lid on. Now you'll notice on the Hawkins cookers that this is not a perfect circle. Notice how it's thinner here, gets thicker and then thinner again. And so it's an oval. And in order to get the lid in, you have to sort of do a little thing where you pop it in and then twist it. You see that? All right, now I've twisted it the wrong way. You have to twist it this way so that you can then latch your pot. And you'll see the edge right here, and that just pops right on. And now you're good to go. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Again, I have my pressure cooker all loaded up on a medium high to high temperature, and um, steam has started to come out of the little vent. So there's definitely pressure building up, and you can hear that whistle that starts to happen. That means that the pressure is getting pretty high inside. But what we're waiting for is for the pot to indicate that it is at full pressure. And that happens when this little pressure knob, your pressure regulator, finally pops and lets out a huge burst of steam. Then you will start to time your recipe. So we'll just wait for that to happen. And you can see that the steam is coming out pretty decently now. It will also bubble a little bit around the, the uh, top of the pot. That's just water and, you know, escaping and sort of cooking off. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, that was it. That's the indication that your pot has reached full pressure. So now what I'm gonna do is turn my temperature down just a bit. So I'm gonna turn mine down to about a six. It was at an eight. For me, that's medium high to just a little bit above medium. And I'm gonna start timing my recipe. You should still hear steam and hissing coming out of your cooker. If that goes away, that means that your pot, you turn the, the temperature down too much. If the pressure regulator blows again, if it pops its top and you get that big steam blowing out, that means that you still have your temperature up too high and you can turn it down a little bit more. So we're at cooking temperature now, and I'm just gonna let it roll for 12 to 15 minutes. So my timer went off and I've moved my pressure cooker onto a cool burner. Um, what we're going to do is release the pressure inside of the pot. And in order to do that, you definitely need to use a long handled utensil of some sort. I'm just going to use uh, a butter knife here because there's still a whole lot of pressure inside the pot. So I'm gonna pop my knife into the little loop on top of the pressure regulator lift up. So, 
all of that steam was in, trapped inside the pot that was cooking our beets is now released. Okay, so I'm ready to take the lid off and check out my beets. So in order to release the top, you have to squeeze the handle so that that little loop comes loose and just allow it to unseal. Again, you will get a little bit of steam coming out and your food is still very hot in there. You have to do that same thing where you turn the lid to get it out. So you have to turn the handle 90 degrees and just pull it out. And look at that. Look at those beautiful beets in there. And we're gonna check it with a knife to make sure that they're nice and soft and it goes right in. Beautiful. This would have taken me an hour of boiling on the stove. You still get that great cooking liquid down in the bottom of the pot if you like to reserve that and use it for recipes or other things. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you use that pressure cooker. It's a really valuable tool in the kitchen. Thanks a lot.